New tonight at 11 as vaccines help reduce the threat of severe illness and death from COVID-19. Millions of people remain at risk of long term symptoms of the disease, which scientists are calling long COVID. It can, it can affect not only adults, but also children. Our Haley Harrison is on your side tonight, joining us live with what we know so far about long COVID. Haley. Well, Heather, research is still limited on long COVID and even the new Delta variant, but there are studies out there. And the biggest takeaway I got after speaking to a local infectious disease expert is that people seem to be at much low risk um, of these complications if they've been vaccinated. Long COVID, a term referring to symptoms that linger for weeks or months beyond infection, affects between 10 and 30 percent of people who catch the virus. This includes those with mild or asymptomatic infections. The lingering symptoms of COVID-19 include brain fog, shortness of breath, fatigue and headaches. It's lower in the adolescent in the pediatric group, but it's still something that can occur for sure. Local infectious disease expert Dr. Mohamed Reza points to a United Kingdom study which shows about 9.8% of children 2 to 11 years of age had at least one lingering symptom five weeks after recovering from COVID-19 and 13% of children 12 to 16. This research may not even include the Delta variant, which Dr. Reza says is much more contagious than the Alpha variant. My concern is as a parent and as an infectious disease doctor, we don't know enough about this Delta variant at this point and especially in children and those that are not able to gain access to the vaccines. However, he says the good news is some initial research shows the vaccine seems to help fight long COVID symptoms after a breakthrough infection. It's just a totally different ballgame. Once you're vaccinated, uh, adults and especially children, the likelihood of you having any long haul syndrome is markedly lower. And some of the data, initial data showing that even if you have COVID and you have long haul symptoms, getting vaccinated may decrease the severity of those long COVID symptoms and help to resolve some of those symptoms. Now, Dr. Reza also says that the fact that doctors haven't seen a large number of post vaccination long haul patients means that vaccinations are breakthrough cases of or breakthrough infections, excuse me, are still relatively uncommon and long COVID after vaccination remains a relatively low risk. Live in Jacksonville, I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News on your side.